All right, so we want to find a closed form solution for this recurrence relation and this initial condition. And so the way we're going to do this is we're just going to start writing out terms and not simplify them all the way and see if we can find a pattern. So we know because we're given it that the zeroth term is zero, right? And based on this equation, s sub 1 equals the term that comes before it, s sub 0, plus 4 times 1, because we're in the first term. So n equals 1 plus 5. I'm not going to simplify that at all. I know I could put a 0 in here. I know I could make this here a 9. We're just going to leave it fully expanded till the end to make sure we don't miss something. And also, I'm going to leave this initial condition in here because at the end of the problem, if we decide we wanted to change the initial condition, we could do that and we wouldn't have to do all the math all over again. So now we're going to move on to the second term, which is going to be s sub 1 plus 4 times 2 plus 5. And in the last step, we found this to be s sub 1, so we're going to substitute that in here. All right, so this becomes s sub 0 plus 4 times 1 plus 5, plus 4 times 2, plus 5. I'm going to do one more here before I start cleaning this up a little bit. All right, this is s sub 2, plus 4, times 3, plus 5. And just look back at this original recurrence relation and, and make sure you can see where I'm getting this from, right? I'm just taking the equation and I'm putting 3 in for n to find this third term here, right? And now I'm going to substitute in this that we found for the second term. And so we have s sub 0 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 plus 4 times 2 plus 5 plus, you know, what we have left over here, 4 times 3 plus 5. And what you should notice here is that we're starting to have some things that look kind of similar. So I'm going to regroup this a little bit. I'm going to write this as s sub 0 plus 4 times 1, plus 4 times 2, plus 4 times 3, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. Okay, and let's do one more. Let's find the fourth term here. So s sub 4 equals s sub 3, plus 4 times 4, plus 5. So this is going to become s sub 0, plus 4 times 1, plus 4 times 2, plus 4 times 3, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 4 times 4, plus 5. Okay, now I'm going to take all these terms that have this 4 in them, and I'm going to factor that out, right? So I'm going to write this as s sub 0, plus 4, times 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. And I'm going to take these four fives, you know, a 5 added together four times is just 4, times 5. Alright, and so what we want to do here is see if we can guess a term for s sub n. Right, well everything so far has had an s sub 0 in it. So we're going to assume our initial conditions in here. Right, and then everyone has also had this 4. So this is plus 4 times, now notice something, here we have like if we factored out a 4, we'd have 4 times 1 plus 2 plus 3, and up here we'd have had 4 times 1 plus 2, right? So each time we add another term up to the nth, right? Here, n equals 4, and we go from 1 all the way up to that n. So we're going to make this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n. And then here, we've always had a 5, right? It's always been a sequence of 5s. But the number of fives we've had keeps going up by one, right? Here we have two fives. Here we have three fives. Here we have four fives, etc. So we're going to make this five times n because we want to have one more five each term, right? And so now we're pretty much done. We're going to make this s sub 0 a 0 to match our initial condition. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to use this property here. Um, we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. This is something you should know. Um, this is a basic property for the sum of the first n integers. 
um, you will see this a lot in mathematics. And so we're going to substitute that formula in here. We, got, we replaced our initial condition with 0 because that's the initial condition that we started with here. And so this becomes 4 times n over n plus 1 over 2 plus 5n. And now I'm just going to do some algebra to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to cancel it 2 here. So s of n equals 2n times n plus 1 plus 5n. And then I'm just going to do some distribution to see that s sub n equals 2n squared plus 7n. And so that's going to be our closed form solution. So we found this kind of just by guessing a pattern. So to prove this, to prove like rigorously that this is a solution to the um, recurrence relation, you can do that um, using induction. So overall, that is... Uh, an example of how we can take a recurrence relation and an initial condition um, that's, you know, finding each term based on the one before it and find a general solution so that we don't have to do um, all of the math up to, like, say, the 10th term to find the 10th term. We can find exactly the term that we're looking for.